Beruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Daf Kuf Hey Omid Beis, 11 lines from the bottom. The Gemara had previously told us that there's a chiv, an obligation to tear Kriya upon the death of a Chacham and upon the death of an Adam Kosher. The Gemara now brings related statements. Says the Gemara, Omar Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, Omar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Mishum Bar Kaporo. Anybody who sheds tears on an Adam Kasher, HaKadosh Baruch Hu cherishes those tears and he puts them in his treasury. Shenemar says in the Pasuk, Noidi safarto ato, my wanderings, Hashem, you have counted. Sima di masi benoidcha, you placed my tears in your flask. Halo is it not also in your account? The Gemara goes on to say the following: Drosha Omar Yehuda Omar Rav Kol Hamis Atzel Behespedo Shel Chacham Roy LeKoivroy Bechayev. All that, all those who are lazy in giving eulogy to a Chacham, he will be buried in his lifetime. Shenemar says Vayikburu Oisoi Begvul Nachalosoi BeMatna Serach. It says in regards to Yoshua ben Nun that they buried him in the border of his inheritance in the place called Matnas Serach, Asher Bahar Ephraim Mitzvon Lahar Goash, which was on Har Ephraim, the north north of the mountain of Goash. Now Har Ephraim is mentioned in Tanakh, and yet Har Goash is not. So why does it use Har Gash as a reference to know where Har Ephraim is by saying it's the north? Of Har Goash, says the Gemara to make the following drasha: Melamid Sharogash, Alei and Hahar Lahargon. It means to say that the word Goash, they expound to say, is Rogash. That means that the mountain trembled upon them to kill them. We know when it comes to Moshe and Aaron, the Klaistral, they cried thirty days for Moshe and for Aaron, and yet it doesn't say anything about. That in regards to Yehoshua. Omra Bichia Bar Abam Biochan and similarly Kalamis Atzel Behespedel Shel Chochom Eno Maari Chiyomim Mido Kenegan Mido. The same way that a person doesn't feel the loss of the Chochom at the, his, his, his life being shortened and leaving this world. So Mina Shomayim, who do appreciate and cherish the life of the Chochom. They will then also meet the Kenegan Mida, take years off of his life. Shinemar says Samaso Kishalcha Terivena that the the precise measurement of a saw it will be contended together with her when she was when she was sent away. Eisve, the Gemara says the following question: Rabbi Chia Bar Abba Rabbi Yochanan asking on Rabbi Yochanan's drasha. In regards to the people who lived at the time of Yehoshua, Vayavdu Haomes Hashem. It says that the people they actually served Hashem. Yehoshua, all of the days of Yehoshua bin Nun, Azakanim, and all of the days of the Zakanim. Asher Herichu Yom Achare Yehoshua, who then lived long after Yehoshua. So how can you tell me that they're going to then be buried and Lose their length of days. Hare, it says that they had lengthy days. Omar le bavloi. He said, Rabbi Yochanan said back to Rabbi Chia bar Abba, who was from Bavo, he referred to him as the Babylonian one. Yomim ha'erichu, but shonim lo ha'erichu. They had long days. However, although those days were fruitful, it wasn't lengthy days, and therefore the shonim were not lengthy. Hel me'ato asks, Rabbi Chia Bar Abba, back to Rabbi Yechanan, what do you say about the following post? Laman Yirbu Yemechem Vimei Benechem. There only mentions a ribui of Yemechem. Does that mean also that a person who follows the mitzvahs, that his days are going to be long, but he's not going to have long years? Yomim Voloshonim? Answers Rabbi Yechanan, Bracha Shaini. Bracha is different when it says Laman Yirbu Yemechem, it also refers to the Shonim as well. Says the Gemara Vaita Amar B'chia Bar Abba Amar B'yoychan another statement that he made in the name of Rabbi Yoychanon. Echod min ha'achin shemeis one of the brothers that have died. 
The top on, we're on top of Kuf Vov Amir Aleph now. Yidagu kol ha'achin kulon. The, all of the other brothers should be concerned. Echad mibnei chabura shemes. Similarly, one of the chabura who died. Didag kol ha'chabura kula. The whole chabura should be concerned. Amr the demes godol. Some say if the, the greater one passed away. Vamre le hames koton. Others say even if there was a, the smallest one passed away. After all, when it comes to one of the family members who passed away, so then, Yidag kol ha'achim, because once the Malach HaMobos has entered, it's very possible for him to enter again. The Chazal in another place in the Yishamli brings a marshal that there's a mound of stones. And if one person removes a stone of the bottom of this mound, it's likely that the mound will then also fall. So therefore, again, once one of the Achim have died, Yidagu Kola Achim Kulon. The Gemara now quotes our Mishnah of Kola Mekalkalim Pturin, the rule, the cloud, the principle of that when we do, when a person does a Malacha on Shabbos, so if the Malacha is not with a, for a Tikkun, but rather it's Mekalkil, so then it's not going to be fulfilling the requirement of Malachas Machshevis, whereby the creative malacha is not being done. Rather, like some Rishonim term it, it's a malacha shel shtus, when he does a kilkul. So therefore, he's going to be potter. Says the Gemara, Tani Rabbi Abohu, Kamed Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Abohu taught the following b'raisa in front of Rabbi Yochanan. Kol ha-mekalkalin pturin chutz michoivel umavir. All of the mekalkalin are potter, with the exception of choivel umavir. When a person does a chabola, when he's choivil, he causes a wound to somebody else, or he causes a fire, so he will then not be potter, even though those are also kilkulim. Omar lay, Rabbi Yochanan said, Puk tani livro. Go outside the base Hamedrish and teach your teaching of this b'raisa because it's incorrect. Choivil umavir eina mishnah. Chayvil and Mavir, to say your Chayiv for, is not a teaching that is authoritative. The Imtim to learn Mishnah, and Rabbi Yochanan doesn't say, but if you want to say that it is a teaching, then Chayvil bitzorich le Kalboy, Mavir bitzorich le Efro. Then it's talking about a case of the Chayvil that is necessary for its Kelev. That means to say a person causes a wound to somebody else to draw his blood so they can feed the blood to a Kelev. And Mavir is, although it's a normally a destructive act, but he needs the ashes, and therefore it has a constructive purpose. So if you want to say that that's the case that we're talking about, then indeed maybe you can teach that, but otherwise, Chayvil and Mavir are Kilkulim. By the way, the Mishnah seems to support Rabbi Abohu, that Rabbi Abohu, who said to Rabbi Yochanan, this teaching that, all Kilkulim are Peturim, with the exception of Choyvon Mavir, we have Mishnayis in Bavakama that teach that indeed, if a person would be Choyvon somebody else on Shabbos, so although normally a person's Chayv Nezek for the Chabola, but if he's doing it on Shabbos, so therefore he's Chayv Misa because of the Molach of Shabbos and the Tilas Neshama. So therefore we say Kamle Bidirabi Mine. Similarly, when it comes to somebody, who is Mavir and lights up a Godish. So if this Godish of grain, although he was Mazik, the person who owns the Godish of grain, but again, he's Potter for the damage because Kamle B'dirab we say that he's Chayiv Misa because of Molech Shabbos. So Gemara now wants to understand this statement, Rabbi Abo, that he said in the name of the Braiso. How could it be that a person indeed is called Makalkal in Pturin, except for Chayvul Mavir? Says the Gemara, Va'anantnan, kol ha'mekalkalim p'turin. Our Mishnah states, without making an exception, that kol ha'mekalkalim p'turin. It doesn't mention choyvol ha'mavir as being an exception. Answers the Gemara, Masnisin Rabbi Yehuda, Brysa Rabbi Shem. Our Mishnah is Rabbi Yehuda, and the Brysa is Rabbi Shimon. Our Mishnah is Rabbi Yehuda, who holds that Melacha Sheinat Tzricha Legufa, is Chayev. Rabbi Shimon, who was Melchashen Tzuchel Gufa, 
is Potter goes after them, is the author of the Mishnah, of the Brisa rather. That which the Mishnah, we said before, however, on Amr Aleph, is explained that Hakarei Bechamoso Vial Meso is Rabbi Shimon that holds Malach Shein Yitzvichel Legufa. So we have to say that the next statement is altered by a different Tana, which is Rabbi Yehuda Hakalam Akalkalim Peturim. And we have to split up the statements of the Mishnah. But that's the way the Gemara now understands it. That again, our Mishnah is Rabbi Yehuda and the Bryce is Rabbi Shimon. Ask the Gemara if Rabbi Shimon holds Malach Shein Yitzvichel Legufa. My time with Rabbi Shimon. Why should he say Choyvil and Mavir should be Chayiv? Answers the Gemara, Medi Yitzrich Kro Le Mishra Milo HaChoyvel O Baal Machayiv. The fact that we need a post that says by Yom Hashmini on the eighth day a person can then mal his son, even if that day is on Shabbos. The fact that it has to emphasize that must mean that the Chabola on Shabbos would indeed be Chayiv, and therefore we have to have a special head there to give the Chabola of making a Bris Milo on Shabbos. And for the fact that the Torah answered killing the Bas Kohen who needs to be killed with Sreifa when she's Mezane as, a, as an Arusa. So therefore the fact that the Torah had to then answer such a thing when indeed normally we'd say that this is a Havara that should be we know it should be Oster. The fact that the Torah has to go out of its way to say it's Oster to kill the Baskain with Sreifa. So therefore, it must mean that Havara is indeed Chayev. Shmamina Mavir Baal Machayev. So those are the statements that Rabbi Shimon makes to argue that indeed Chabola, Chayvil, and Mavir are exceptions. Because Malach Shenitzricha Legufa is Potter. So therefore, over here you have. A situation where that the reason why it's going to then tell me that a bas kohen would be would be would not be killed on Shabbos is only because that normally havar is chayiv. Otherwise, we don't need to be told that because it's a malach sheni tzricha legufa. And similarly, when it comes to the case of mila, again, it's a malach sheni tzricha legufa. It's a chabola, but it's not for itself. It's for to make the mitzvah bris mila. So therefore, that would be potter. The fact that the Torah had to tell me that must be its chayiv. Rabbi Yehuda hasom mesakinhu. Rabbi Yehuda argues with Rabbi Shimon and says the reason why these things are chayiv is not because they're kilkul. Both choyvil and mavir have a tikkun in these situations. Kid Rav Ashi, like Rav Ashi taught, Doma Rav Ashi, mali lesakin mila, mali lesakin kli. What does it make a difference to me if a person mesakin a mila or mesakin a kli? The, the meal is a tikkun of the goof of the person. So it's true, it's a malach shen tzuichel legufa. But Rabbi Yehuda holds, malach shen tzuichel legufa is chayev. And similarly, mali levashel pesila, mali levashel simonin. What does it make a difference if he's cooking the psila for the, the, the lead that's going to be poured down the bas kohen's throat, which is a malach shen tzuichel legufa, mali levashel samonin. After all, this itself is going to be a tikkun. And therefore, the fact that Melech HaShem Tzrich HaLegufa doesn't bother Rabbi Yehuda because Melech HaShem Tzrich HaLegufa is Chayiv. So here we have indeed the Machloikis between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon of Melech HaShem Tzrich HaLegufa rears, rears its head again to explain then the Yishu between this Mishnah and the Brisa. Our Mishnah is authored again, this Keta of Kalmakalkalim between to be Rabbi Yehuda, whereas this Brisa is authored by Rabbi Shimon who says Kalmakalkalim is between Chutz Mi Choyvel Umavir.